Hi there. <clears throat> Today I've got Andy Warhol on Wikipedia and I got a piece on Andy Warhol that'll take about four to five minutes. Um, he was an American artist, film director, and producer. He was a leading leading figure in the visual arts movement known as pop art. And he took um, advertising and celebrity culture and put it into artistic expression. He flourished in the 1960s. He died by 1987. And he did painting, silk screening, photography, and sculpture. He um, he made his Campbell soup cans, the Maryland Diptych. And these were in about 1962. And he made some films called Empire, Chelsea Girls. And um, he had events called Exploding Plastic Inevitable. He was working with Lou Reed in uh, Velvet Underground. He was born in Pittsburgh. And... Um, he started putting his work into galleries in the late 1950s during the time of the gallery uh, expansion boom in the United States. He, he, he had, his studio was called The Factory, and he brought intellectuals, drag queens, street people, celebrities, and patrons together. And he, he, uh, his personalities were known as Warhol superstars, superstars, and he coined the 15 minutes of fame expression. So, um... Around this time, he was um, working with Velvet Underground, and he, he, um, the famous album with the banana, uh, he helped uh, uh, produce that. And uh, so, what well, Andy Warhol is very famous today as a posthumous artist. He's um, his art is uh, still in all the modern art museums, and he's uh, posthumously rich. His uh, art goes for a hundred five million for nineteen sixty three canvases. Um, Andy Warhol was the fourth child of Andre Warhol. They were from Austria, Hungary, and um, Andy Warhol. Uh, his parents uh, uh, lived in a, lived in Pittsburgh, and he his father worked in a coal mine. So he's from this blue collar background. He um, he just comes from this uh, you know very. Uh, dreary background but became a very colorful person so anyway um Andy Warhol enrolled at Carnegie Mellon in Pittsburgh he studied commercial art and he just um took advertising and magazines and um blew up his concept uh, let's see um he developed his blotted line technique, applying ink to paper and then blotting the ink while still wet. He made a printmaking process with a mo uh, rudimentary scale. Um, Andy Warhol, um, let's see. Some of his famous works were the Maryland Diptych and the soup cans, as I already said, and then he took a lot of uh, pop culture celebrities like Elvis Presley, Marlon Brando, Muhammad Ali, Elizabeth Taylor, as well as famous uh, pieces with um, um, uh, John F. Kennedy's wife, um, uh, Jackie Kennedy. He he was, you know, an idealist, and an idealist that was also a skeptic. Okay, so let's see what else. Um, you can see his art at the New York City Museum of Modern Art, the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art. Any modern art museum has lots of his original artwork. And, um, let's see, um, he's a very eccentric person in a time where eccentric people were becoming very famous. These were counterculture bohemian people. His list of friends were Nico, Joe D'Alessandro, Edie Sedgwick, Ultraviolet, Jackie Curtis, Candy Darling. Um, he, let's see. Um, the radical feminist writer Valerie Solana shot Warhol in 1968 at Warhol Studio, and this became uh, this incident led to a movie called Who Shot Andy Warhol uh, of the 1990s. And um, uh, Valerie Solanas was this uh, cult figure that uh, it's kind of a myth here, the story of how uh, he was shot but not murdered. So, anyway, Andy Warhol. Um, his art uh, came part of the bull market of the 1980s uh, art world with the John Michel Basque, Julian Schnabel, and um, his artwork is among the greatest of uh, modern artists today. And um, he he had a quote. He said, 
I love Los Angeles. I love Hollywood. They're so beautiful. Everything's plastic, but I love plastic. I want to be plastic. So, um, Andy Warhol just had so many of these catchphrases and so much just, um, popping out in the, um, the landscape of pop culture, but he was an artist. And, um, Andy Warhol, um, um, died after a surgery. He didn't survive a surgery, gallbladder surgery, and, um, he... He lives on today, um, he loves celebrities, he um, painted celebrities, and he was also kind of a nihilistic or a kind of a doomsday person, uh, um, kind of prophetic and just um, prophesizing just the dark side of celebrities and the dark side of fame. and. Um, Andy Warhol, his art is still going for millions of dollars, and uh, um, he just popularized the art galleries like Ferris Gallery in Los Angeles, and he, um, he his film was Chelsea Girls in 1966 with Nico, and um, Andy Warhol was a superstar, and uh, he lives on today as a legend in uh, pop art. So... That's about it today. He's got a lot of things on uh, Wikipedia, but my video is going long. He's, um, he's a very liberal person, was uh, homosexual, and uh, his religious beliefs were anti-orthodox. And um, just uh, to note the collections of Andy Warhol at um, uh, various museums and um, the Andy Warhol Museum in Pittsburgh as well. So, uh, here's to Andy Warhol, and, um, um, is there anything else I want to say here? Um, Andy Warhol, Andy Warhol, um, um, this kind of person is hard to understand by some people, but, uh, to me, he's fascinating. Have a good day.